Hi, uh, can you introduce yourself to the viewers? Yeah, I'm Azir Hussain. I'm from Bangladesh, from Dhaka. And I'm Monwar Hussain, his uh, father. And you're currently at the Chess Base India office. So, how come you are here in India, in Mumbai, and here at Chess Base India? You want to go ahead? Okay, he's playing the tournament under 13. And we are, we are like, we follow Chess Base India a lot, right? And my son is a great fan of uh, Sagar Shah. So that's how we wanted to come and meet you and see the office and we wanted to buy some um, chess products from, from Chess Base India. That's why we are here. And my son is really, really excited to meet, meet Sagar Shah. Okay, wonderful. So is it true that you learned uh, playing chess watching videos from Chess Base India? Yeah, that's true. That's true. How, how, how did that happen? Yeah, I saw some games in Chess Base India and then I was very much like how to play this game. So then I went to my dad and told that I want to buy a chess board and then I, I, we went to a sports shop and bought a chess board and then he t uh, taught me how to move the rooks, pawns and queen and king and bishop and Basically knight. nowadays people watch videos rather than uh, read books. So that's how your videos popped up into YouTube and okay. he started uh, watching the YouTube videos and then he was interested in chess. So you were uh, interested? in chess already or how was it um, I wasn't that interested in chess I used to play chess uh, when I was young and I used to tell him that chess is one of the exciting games because at the end of each game you, it comes down to your brain Which, mm. whichever game you play you there are certain skill sets after that it, it comes down to your brain and that decides who is a winner who is a loser so chess is a battle of uh, minds so that is why it's very very exciting so I told him a couple of years back, he wasn't very interested, but when he saw your video, he started following chess and now he loves loves to play chess and that's why we are here. Well, it's very flattering for us that someone picked up the game watching the videos. Uh, how has been your experience learning chess? Have you played a lot of tournaments until now? No, I haven't played that, that much tournaments. I, I just came here to play another tournament and this is my first international tournament. so. So you're looking forward to getting your rating here? Yes, yes. Well, he already has his rating. His, his rating is around 1500. Okay. Right. But uh, I wanted him to test with the with the very best under his age group. So in India, India, India yes. yes. India, the ratings are, uh, getting a rating is difficult and let alone playing playing with them. So he has scored around one and a half points out of four right right now. So it's a good experience for him. So let's see. If, let's um, give him a year or so. Let him play all the tournaments, and then we see. We are, I'm actually happy that he. If he doesn't have a rating, I'm happy with it. As long as he's playing and learning. How do you look at prospects of chess for him? Because you've taught him. Uh, of course, he would be also going to school, studying. How do you see chess as as an extracurricular activity, or maybe a choice of professional career as well? As a choice of professional career. Chess in general needs to develop a lot because what I feel, uh, look at uh, cricket, right? They have so many international tournaments going on. Even if um, my son does not get into a uh, professional league, he can actually be in the first division and still earn a decent money. Where in chess, it's very, very difficult. Well, like Chess has a lot of users or players, right? Look at Facebook, how they have converted their users into, they have monetized this, monetized that but chess haven't been able to do that. So I think there is something that chess needs to do. Look at the entire format, like the way the cricket has evolved, right? They had test match cricket, one day cricket, now T20, right? Keeping in mind the viewership of when the viewers are watching the game and when which format they, they want to watch the game. And then the money poured in, right? Now you look at the, even the prize money for the winners and you compare it with the cricket match. One guy hits a six, gets a thousand bucks, and then one guy in chess plays the entire tournament and get earn less than that as a prize money. So that's something that we need to address. Are you a big cricket fan? No. 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 <laughs> He's a soccer fan. Yeah. Ah, you like soccer very yes, much. Yes. Okay. And and what about chess? What are your ambitions? Do you do you see all these videos of Magnus Carlsen and think, okay, I want to be like him, or how is it? No, I. I see videos, I, I want to be like him, but I, I always think that it's better to think it myself that I am better than him so that so that I can be I can beat him if if I think that I'm better. Fantastic. So that's great self-confidence uh, you have. How, how did you develop it? 
No, I just develop it by uh, seeing his games. He was very confident when he plays games. Where when he sit when he sits, he's very confident that he'll win. That's why I I thought that I should also be confident that when I play play to him one day, I I'll beat him. Amazing. And how has been your experience in India? Is this the first time you are here, or yes, the first time we are in yeah. India to play a tournament. So it's a, a good learning experience. I'm actually wearing two hats: one, a manager, and being his dad. So checking my emotions uh, gets difficult sometimes because of his. Sometimes he plays some um, blunders. He makes blunders. So having wearing two hats is a bit difficult. But the overall experience is really nice. Well, we thank you for uh, talking to us, coming here and spending time with us. We wish you good luck. Uh, play your best in the remaining rounds. Thank you. Thank you.